Folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy from Beckley's Camping Center here in Thurmont, Maryland. Right on Route 15, just 15 minutes north of Frederick, Maryland. And we're just 30 minutes south of Gettysburg, PA. Again, as I mentioned, we're right in Thurmont, right off of Route 15. Today, we're going to talk to you about the 2018. This is a Tab 320. It's a CSS um, tab. And just want to show you some differences. Now, one thing that, that uh, New Camp does, which is nice, is the fact that they're using the Asdale panels, the composite panels, for laminating the fiberglass too. Instead of using Luon, which is a wood substrate, they're using that. Now, the benefit of that is it does not absorb water. It is lighter than Luon, and it gives you uh, insulation properties as well. So much, much better, more expensive, but well worth it. Now in the back here, you can see you have your, your kitchen area. You're gonna have the refrigerator, you have your two burner cooktop, you have your sink, you can look at it, you have a second TV when you have the clamshell. See the stereo speakers, and then look at the counter space and the additional storage you have back here. Now, you might ask me, well, why do, what's the difference between a clamshell and one that's not? You can see this edging here, okay that is different than one if you were looking at you see this is going to be inside kitchen so they're able to change and make the colors match the other uh you know things on on your camper you know where, you, where your propane bottle goes the trim around the window and so forth so when you have the the kitchen in the back you can see you don't have that colored uh edging or trim that you might see so that's how you can tell it if you're looking at it from the front so let's take a look on the off-door side. You can see that they put the spare tire up underneath on these. On the off-door side, you're gonna have an outside shower. Now this outside shower is gonna give you both cold and hot water, which is great. You know, the nice thing is if you wanna use that, but maybe maybe have dirt and stuff over here, get yourself one of those pans that you would put underneath a wash machine. And that's something you can stand in and kind of get you out of the dirt. That way you can set a chair right next to it. Just makes it a little bit neater. See, this is where you'd hook your water. Of course, the Aldi exhaust system. I'll go over that when we go inside. That's for your water heater and your furnace. That is your electrical hookup. You can see now, let's say you're not able to hook up to water. You can bring some water with you. Not going to be a lot of water. About 11, 12 gallons. You can see you have a cable hookup, and this is the black thing, that's your black antenna. That is for your uh, stereo on the inside. Now here is one thing that is awesome. You all are gonna love this addition, what they have changed. This has, of course, the bathroom on the inside. Look at what they have done. You have one exit port for your sewer and gray water. That is a, I, I'm so happy that they have made that change. That is so beneficial to a lot of people. You don't have to be switching it back and forth, and that helps you. So now you have the gray. It makes it easier for you to rinse out the uh, hose. Up in the front here, that is where your battery and your propane tank is. People ask, well, what are these handles up in the front here? Well, those handles are so that you want to get, you know, you get your car close to it. Now you can pull using those handles and get that to your truck because, see, it has the wheel on the front. These are very easy to uh, move around. Let's take a look on the inside and show you. So on the window, you can see they have this little, little window thing. And so if you don't want to see through it, like I say, you can make it private. The other thing, it's a gorgeous day here today. Maybe I want to sit inside and leave the door open where you can see you have a screen you can pull across. Now, maybe there's not enough airflow. No problem. You have a 12 volt fan in the roof. Turn that thing on, it'll pull the air coming in through the door and going right out the ceiling. If you want, you can open some additional windows and it is going to pull the air on through, give you some great circulation. So let's just back up, take a look and see how this thing looks. See, we have a little carpet in here just to kind of wipe our feet as we come in, but you can see the floor, how nice it is. There's a great little job. Now you can see the table there, that comes off and it does have some wood planks that go across the edging here. On either side so you can take the the backs of these and uh, you know just pull these cushions in to make a bed the bed in here would be 70 by 58 so you might have to curl up a bill bit if you're a little bit 
uh, bigger. So you can see, you know, with your table, this table is movable. You can, you know, move it, uh, change the height, move it from side to side. You have 110 and USB charging port as well as that little 12 volt charging port like you'd have in your car. Nice thing with these uh, cabinets above here, let's say you're cooking out back and you want to pass some food on through. See how easy that is? Maybe you have some dishes in here, you want to send them back out there because uh, the sink's back there, you can just pass it right on through. Makes it kind of nice. As you can see through here, you're going to have your smoke detector. Nice little ledges above the windows on either side. And of course, you do have this nice little ledge back behind you as well. Of course, you have your standard, your air conditioner. The Aldi system, this is what you're, that I showed you the exhaust. This is a system that uses propane and or electric, and you can heat your water with that, uh, and also provides you heat. You can see the TV there, that does swivel out, so you can watch it, change the angle of that. You do have an AM, FM, CD stereo with a DVD player. It's also Bluetooth capable plenty of lighting in here so you can see the light that's up underneath the counter up there or over the counter I should say and look at the change they've made for 2018 I don't know if you all remember it having that cushion seat up there you know and of course you'd bang your head on the cabinet above if you'd sit on it but now they've made it more like a dresser you got four dresser drawers and look at what they've done is they've given you the old style this is the boat style so it actually has a has a lock on it which is nice. So it's a deep, you know, nice deep uh, drawer. Some good, good storage for you, and it's more like a dresser for you. And of course, this particular one, you can get it without the shower. You'd have more, a little more cabinet counter space. But this is your shower in here, which is also your where your toilet is. And you can see that you know they keep your toilet paper protected. It does have a sink, and of course the shower. You've got a, a mirror in here. You've got a light in the ceiling. So this is the type of, type of shower. It's what we call a wet bath. Basically, be doing your business, taking a shower, shaving your legs all at the same time. So it kind of cuts down uh, the time for that. So hopefully this has helped you with this. Just kind of giving you, trying to give you some better view of, of how things are in here. Um, this is kind of meant so that you kind of get a better view for things. And then, you know, when you come in, when you sit in them, it's going to give you a different look. All the windows have either the screen or they have the blackout shade that you can pull up. So you have on, on that screen is up from above and blackout shade is from below. Hopefully you found this information helpful. I appreciate you watching. And for more information on this or any other RV, please remember Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, if you call. If you stop by or if you email Beckley's Camping Center, ask for the Air Force guy. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you shortly. Thank you.